Hi there, you're welcome to Demi Rx Care channel today. Thank you so much for checking us out for your medication needs today. And we would love for you to be a part of our community here at Demi Rx Care. In order to do that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. And also you can check out our free recipe to one of our diet plans here at Demi Rx Care by clicking on the link below and it will direct you to how you can download that recipe for that diet plan that we do have on our website. Thank you so much for checking us out again and please stay Hi there. Tuned. So let's talk about our medication of choice today. So our medication of choice today is known as Tamiflu. So Tamiflu is also known as a medication called the generic, which is the also Temavir. And this medication is normally used in our patients who have been diagnosed with the flu or formerly no known as influenza type A or type B. So this medication does come in a 75 milligram capsule and it also comes in suspension as well. For most patients that are going to be taking the capsule for the prevention of this medication of, of the flu. So for most patients who are going to be taking this medication, you're either going to be taking this medication for prevention of the flu, most likely because you've been in contact with someone who has the flu or maybe like a family member or an a co-worker or you're most likely going to be taking this medication for treatment purposes so for patients who are using this medication for prevention you will be taking 75 milligram by mouth once a day and it's taken for seven days on the other hand for patients who are going to be using this medication for treatment of the flu this medication will be taken as a 75 milligram capsule twice a day for five days. So patients who are using it for prevention or are you going to be using it to prevent themselves from getting the flu or starting to have symptoms and they do this for about seven days and while for treatment patients are going to be taking it for five days. So what are some of the side effects to look out for while you're taking Tamiflu? So some side of common side effects of this medication include nausea and vomiting. This medication can also cause headache. It can cause diarrhea. It can cause abdominal pain as well as insomnia. So you might not be able to sleep well while you're on this medication. And like I said, these are just common side effects. Sometimes it doesn't directly relate to the medication. It might be more of the actual condition that's causing the side effect. Like I always say, side effects are two-way street. It's either you have it or you don't have it. So just make sure that these are common side effects that you may notice or may not notice while you're on this medication. So what are some serious side effects that you definitely want to report to your doctor when you start noticing them as you're on this medication. So some serious side effects of this medication include seizures, um, facial swelling, as well as abnormal behavior. If you start noticing some form of delirium, as well as stomach bleeding, or any form of like liver issues, maybe you start noticing like a yellow skin, um, a cold and clammy skin, uh, severe nausea and vomiting, those are serious side effects that you definitely want to report to your doctor. If you're very convinced that it is because of this medication, make sure that you're reporting that to your doctor. That way they can substitute this medication for other options that are available. So what are some other things that you want to know about this medication while you're on the medication? So this medication, Tamiflu, is not in any way a substitute of the flu vaccine. So you also want to make sure that you're getting your flu vaccine yearly as recommended in order to prevent the flu from occurring. Also, this medication is preferably taken with food. You don't have to, but if you can, it's better for you to take it with like a light meal or a light snack or, or milk to kind of reduce any stomach irritation that may occur with this medication. Also for patients who are, have diabetes or who are more aware of their sugar level, this medication does contain about two grams of subitol for every 75 milligram of the capsule. So make sure that you're aware of this. If you start noticing maybe like a, a, a jump in your, in your level of blood glucose, 
it may be due to this so just something to be aware of while you're taking this medication also in terms of the capsule if you're not able to swallow it you may open the capsule and actually mix it with some sweetened liquid or like a regular or sugar-free chocolate syrup a corn syrup or light brown sugar dissolved in water and you can drink it after um, mixing it in also in terms of patients who are using the suspension make sure that you're discarding the suspension within 17 days of this suspension being mixed with water if you do place it in the refrigerator however if you kept the suspension at room temperature for the time being that it was prepared it you want to make sure that you're discarding it after 10 days so if it's in the fridge it's good for 17 days if it's outside of the fridge then it's only good for 10 days all right in terms of this medication you want to start taking this medication as soon as you've been exposed to someone who have the flu or as soon as you start having symptoms of the flu there it has been uh, researched that the earlier patients start taking this medication the better it's able to help them or they're able to benefit from taking this medication for their flu condition so this medication should not be used in patients who have just received the live influenza vaccine within the past two weeks. So it is not recommended in patients for them to take this medication. And like I said, the earlier you start taking the medication, the better the benefit of this medication on your condition. All right, I hope I was able to help in terms of what to look out for while you're taking this medication. If you haven't yet done so, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below to support us here at DemiRx Care. And we look forward to seeing more of you here at DemiRx Care channel. Thank you and stay blessed.